Several states have already started loosening their stay-at-home restrictions, but by the end of next week, more than half of the country will be starting to reopen. Our Lindsay Boach spoke with one expert who says there's some science to helping your children ease out of isolation. This is a global pandemic. Things are going to be different as we move back out of quarantine and, and into society. These past few weeks have been hard on most Americans. We are all missing out on the things that we're used to, um, things that used to feel really good and make us really happy. And as we start thinking about what the future might look like, children's psychologist Laura Anthony says we could be seeing some changes in our children's behavior. Most of us as parents are seeing signs of stress or sadness or grief or frustration, disappointment in our kids. Um, and we, we, we need to really be okay with letting them feel those things. Anthony says it's important to talk to our kids and share our feelings with them and explain to them what the next few weeks may hold. For example, if you go out and about having to wear a mask, Staying six feet apart and remembering to wash your hands. Our kids are going to feel um, more in control when they know what they can do as they're kind of coming back out into society. Um, I mean, it's good for the rest of us too. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to say the reasons why we need to do those things. She also says it's important to try and lessen the stress that we put on ourselves as parents working from home and helping with schoolwork. We're all just doing the best that we can. And I think parents should not feel guilty. Offer themselves a little bit of kindness and a little bit of grace. They're not in this alone. We're all struggling. And all you can do is the best you can. That's all any of us can do is the best that we can. I'm Lindsay Boach reporting.